you know, the amazing thing is that uh, I have worked with some quality, wonderful photographers my whole career. It's been, I learned a lot from them. And, and just by chance, they might have learned something from me. If, uh, but it, it goes back to when I started. Congratulations, Brad. You made it. Uh, retirement at last. You know, one of the first times I met Brad Nettles was back in photography after I joined the staff. And we were all babies then. This was low these many, many years ago, like 44 years ago. There's something about working at this paper for so long that's so honorable and um, I mean, when I think of the Post and Courier, you know, I, th I think of you. Retirement? Uh, yeah, thanks for giving me a ride when my car broke down, Brad. Um, yeah, very cool. Very cool to take photos of you when you didn't want me to take photos of you, too. Yeah, been fun working with you, man. It was uh, a blessing to talk to you about Charleston, places, people, and just uh, received just a small amount of the knowledge that you've uh, been able to attain over the years. I can't do this. <laughs> I can't have I can't have Brad retire. I can't be the only person left who knows all of those old stories and all of that history. How am I supposed to be able to remember all those things? Where are you going to be when I have somebody to ask about? Where is this? Or where can I find that? Or what happened here? And can you remember how to spell this? And then we look at each other and neither one of us knows how to spell the thing that we're asking each other to do. So you know, as most things go, you hear people say, you know, things are better with age, right? Well, I think you and I both have a really good connection, and you're going to know what this is before anybody else is. I think you and I both agree that in our cafeteria, things are not better with age, because just today, as we do on most days, this is three items that are out of date, from the 19th and today we're filming on the 25th. So I really enjoy our conversations over expired food in the cafeteria. We wish you the very, very best, best in retirement and we're gonna miss you. Brad, you've been an old timer here about as long as I can remember. And now that you're retiring, I guess that officially makes me an old timer. But I wanna thank you for everything you've done in your decades of service to the Post and Courier. You've, your images have brought this newspaper to life and this community to life. And I thank you on behalf of everybody for everything you've done. Hope you have a wonderful retirement and come back and see us as often as you can. We'll miss you. Thanks. It's a very special time for Brad. He's earned it. And he's, he's, he's certainly spent a lot of time here and done a lot for us. And as a little thank you gift, uh, we've chipped in and got Brad a little retirement gift. And uh, oh, I knew that I wanted to get Brad a watch and I, I shopped around and I, I, something caught my eye that reminded me of him. It was Fossil and I said, well, no, that's, that's not quite right. He's, he's not gone, uh, he's not a fossil, but I found another brand, it's, it's called Relic. And I thought, well, that might fit better. No comments from the peanut gallery. <laughs> okay, so Brad, if you want to just talk about well, I remember coming to the paper. I came 
my first job was a lab technician and then I was lucky enough to be in position to uh, move into a photographer's job within uh, less than a month. You know, basically, you got a pre-Hugo and after Hugo. After, uh, that's how most Charlestonians who grew up here know their life. You know, growing up here, I, I remember being five years old and being down in the uh, photo lab with him on a Saturday or something like that, or, uh, you know, just always being around it. And I guess that's where I got the love of uh, photographing events and people, and it was through that immersion of time spent around newspaper people. And you were photographed for the paper when you were a kid. Uh, I think one for the New Year's edition and one for Fourth of July? Yes. Uh, what, what thoughts on, uh, do you remember that? I don't remember the first one. Because <laughs> uh, that was probably 1959. Um, and <clears throat> I was, making uh, resolutions for the new year of what I was going to be giving up and what I was going to do more of, such as uh, I was giving up uh, my bottle, so I was giving up drinking, and then uh, I was throwing a pack of cigarettes into a, a, can, a trash can, basically, and that was I was going to stop smoking, and then I was going to write more and uh, and read more and so forth like that. I don't remember it, but uh, at least I've got photos of it. And then uh, the 4th of July, I was Uncle Sam. And uh, that was when color was just coming in. And I guess they needed a model and I got picked. What are you gonna miss the most? The people. I like people, and uh, I like meeting people, and uh, it's, uh, I've been blessed to meet a lot of people in this area, newcomers as well as the ones that have been here all their life, and uh, made some good friends, and I'm also going to miss the, the staff and uh, the reporters. Uh, it's something that... Uh, they're your second family, and if you're blessed, like I was, your first family understands what your job is and that the paper is your second family. At least we got something. You're really going to enjoy retirement. You'll have time to do whatever you want. The only uh, schedule you'll be on is the one you pick. The only deadlines you'll have are the ones that Mary Jo sets. So I, um, I hope you enjoy it. Stay, keep moving, stay active, but most of all, have fun. Congratulations again. And hopefully you might still be able to pick some of my night shifts, night shifts up. But if you can, I understand. Um, I hope you enjoy the next, you know, the rest of your, your I won't say golden years, but the rest of your, your time with your family and hope to see you around still. I'm missing your face because you've always had a smile on your face and you've always been a wonderful friend. I'm going to miss you and uh, you've been here all the time I've been here and you've been here double the time. Uh, I just, I don't know um, who I'm going to cry with and laugh with and share all those funny memories with and I'll just miss you so much. So thanks for all the years and thanks for your work and for all of the stories. You know everything that happened here. Anyway, enjoy your retirement. You deserve it. I would tell anybody that gets into this profession that uh, understand the situation you're going into, into 
treat the people, your subjects, with kindness and mercy. And sometimes you just have to love them too. And uh, you just have to show them that respect that they deserve. <laughs>